For over two centuries, the George Washington University has changed the world through exceptional education, groundbreaking research, and outstanding patient care. Today, GW continues that legacy by turning our attention toward artificial intelligence. I've always felt that GW has two superpowers. One is that it attracts the kind of people who really want to have impact and are willing to get out of their comfort zones and talk to people from very different perspectives and disciplines to be able to do that. And two, what our incredible location enables. GW serves as a locus for many different people and that is what attracts students to our campus, but it also attracts policymakers and corporate officials and government officials from around the world. GW has a historic strength being able to bridge the gap between a lot of the technical work that's done in algorithm development uh, on one hand and that policy outreach on the other hand, the governance work that we do. As the world grapples with the realities and implications of this new technology, I am very proud to say that GW is among the institutions driving this critical national conversation. Our vision of how you create trust is based on a notion that at every level of AI, development, design, deployment, and governance, we need to have a multi-stakeholder process. For trustworthy AI to really take shape, we need to understand what are the sources of distrust in AI. We need to have people come and have different perspectives on this because we see trust as a socio-technical problem, not just a technical problem, not just a social problem, and not just even one AI working with one human. It's a system that's embedded in society and everyone who's gonna have a stake in this, which is much broader than we usually think about for technology, needs to be able to come together and talk about it. The Trails Institute has four research uh, cores. Core number one is fundamentally about increasing participation and making sure that we can explicitly state the values that are being articulated by the AI design process. Uh, core number two is technical design. How do we develop best of breed algorithms to be able to better measure and to better assess the ways in which AI uh, can be uh, or, or in some ways can undermine trust? Core number three is about sense making. People come from different cultural backgrounds. People have different perspectives. When they use AI systems, they may see or interpret different things. Can we figure out how to determine if a system can be interpreted or can be explained? And then finally, core number four is all about governance. What does all of this mean? How governments uh, and how uh, companies and how standards setting bodies should understand ways in which AI can be better controlled, AI can be better matched to the needs of its users, and that the participation, all going all the way back to core number one, can be better reflected in our society more broadly. As a professor, what I'm always trying to do is meet students where they are now and think about the skills, but also the ways that they think that are gonna set them up for success and wherever they're going. And specifically in the context of AI, I think it's really important to realize that there's a lot of different types of learners that we need to be considering, not just the really technical computer scientists that I think everyone immediately thinks of. I believe that every discipline has a role to play, whether it's dance, or it is data science, or it is computer science, or it is biology, because basically every sector of the economy and polity are being affected and will be affected. At GW, we have a remarkable community. 
each with unique perspectives and approaches to improving our shared future. We are a community of revolutionaries, and I know that together we will change the world.